So Dana, it sounds like after kind of a gloomy day today and definitely some heavy, heavy rains, Saturday is going to kind of be that in between before we get to a really nice day on Sunday, right? I mean, you should just take my job. You got <laughs> no, the no, whole I don't thing do that. right I don't there. know anything about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're absolutely right. We saw a lot of rain today, kind of day that makes you want to just sit on your couch and do nothing. But at least we're going to have a better looking weekend ahead. So here's where we are at with the rain right now. Most of the rain heading out of our area, a couple of showers still up north and towards down east Maine. These will start to move out of our area as we get through later into tonight. We had some showers go through just north of the Bangor area before as well. And then we also had some showers, some more scattered showers that kind of moved in after this system, but that's all quiet now too. And we're going to remain clear as we go into the overnight hours as well. Now, current temperature wise, still a little warm in some places for overnight low standards, currently 69 in West Cassid, but in some places are a little bit cool because we saw some of that rain earlier today. But something that's really hanging on is our dew points. It is a little bit drier over to our west, but some places have dew points still in the mid to upper 60s. And that's why it's going to feel a little bit warm and sticky as we go overnight tonight. Now for the past couple of days, we've been seeing temperatures below average. That trend's going to continue into tomorrow. A lot of places in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So still another cool day on tap. But as we get into very early tomorrow morning, some fog is possible. We're going to stay mostly dry. Then we'll start out kind of scattered cloud cover throughout the day. A couple of showers are possible where you see more sunshine is likely where you'll see some more of those showers. Then we have another batch of rain that's going to move through overnight. It looks menacing, but when it gets to the mountains, it'll really break up. So a couple of showers overnight as well, but it really sets us up for a nice Sunday. It's going to be warmer, it's going to be drier, and it's kind of going to have more of that summery feel, something that we've been missing over the past couple of days. And then we'll end the night Sunday looking pretty clear as well. So if you're going to be out on the water, seas three to seven feet, water 66. There is a small craft advisory until Saturday at 11 p.m. So in terms of our seven day forecast, we saw a lot of rain, kind of a dreary week that we've had this week. The good news is that's kind of going to patterns going to break up a little bit. So as we get into Saturday, partly cloudy skies with an isolated sprinkle possible Sunday, in my opinion, pick of the weekend. It's going to be drier, a little bit warmer, more comfortable as well. We'll start next week with a chance of some showers in the afternoon, but then we'll have some more sunshine as we get into the midweek. Another system we could be watching for next Friday, but that will be next week's problem, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> We're setting up for a really great weekend and something really to look forward to, I think, after all the rain we saw today. Well, and also the humidity today, which natural with the storms, right? And to see those comfy, comfy, comfy tags. Oh, yes. Everybody would like that. A welcome relief, of course. Yeah, thanks, Dana. <laughs>